Hi, my name is Kiri. I'm 25 years of age and I've never had a girlfriend before. Let me say that again for it to fucking resonate. No girl has ever come into my life and liked me for the man I am. No girl has ever stood by my side and thought, I'm so fucking proud to have you as my boyfriend. No girl has ever even given me a time or the chance of day. So many fucking guys experience the same thing over and over and over and over and over. They just be yourself, they said. Follow oh, feminism, they said. Just fucking be a good boy, they said. We've all fucking tried it. Myself, you, all of us as a whole have tried the same playbook over and over and over and over again. And you know what happens at the end of it? You know what happens when we just be yourself? But you know what happens? You know what we're left with? You know how many girls are in our life? Come a bit fucking closer. Do you know how many girls are in our life? Nothing. Zero. Nil. You do what everyone in society applauds you for. Be a good boy. Just follow the education system. Get a good job. A girl should like you for who you are. And in the end, you get left with nothing. In the end, you stand there like an NPC at the rave, at the party, as you see the girl that you've been kind of looking at the whole night goes off and gets fucked by the bad, bad boy. You know what happens when she goes off with that boy? Come a bit closer, this is some fucked up shit, are you ready? You know what happens? She goes in the house, they close the door, they look at each other. Slowly he grabs her by the fucking neck. He spits in her mouth. He starts kissing her. She feels so aroused, he picks her up, chucks her in the fucking bed, treats her like a piece of shit. And she, he fucks her shit like this. You're at home with your small dick in your hand. Oh, what do you get want? Oh, Melissa replied to me. Oh, Fortnite. That's you. That's me. That's all of us. And whilst that's going on, should I tell you what the saddest thing about it is? As she's getting her guts fucked, she's not thinking about you. She's thinking how this prick, this bad boy, this guy that she didn't like, is so fucking hot to her. He takes his dick and comes all over her body, probably never speaks to her again. And then as she's lying on her bed with his semen, she picks up her phone and sends you a message. You know what the message reads? Sorry, I was sleeping. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's one of my best stories so far. Let me tell you something. When it comes to women, the main the reason why you believe you're just be yourself and be a nice guy is because society's programmed you to think like that. They have said in the movies, and we all did it from young, just, just be yourself, and we've all tried the same thing, but it's never really worked. Editors, we'll put one or two photos up. When I was about 18, 19, let me know. Big difference, right? <laughs> big, big difference. And again, as I always say, it's not about how I look, it's about what's in here. Yes, you know, I'm much more sex appeal, I'm much more attractive. You can feel the masculine essence about me. Yeah, you can tell what I do well with girls. You can tell, right? But that boy before that you just saw on your screen, he didn't understand the rules of the game. He didn't understand 
female dynamics. He didn't understand polarizing masculine feminine energy. He couldn't put his head on it. Why? Maybe yourself, and this will resonate with you, but why you can be a nice guy and do all the right things with the girl, but yet she chooses this bad boy or this kind of guy that dismisses her over you. Because you've listened to what women have said and you've listened to what society have said they want. But in reality, there's a difference between, come a bit closer, I'm serious, this will help you. There's a difference between what women want or say they want and what women are aroused by. What women want or say they want by society and what women are aroused by. The main reason why you don't get any girls because you're a nice guy essentially comes down to one thing. The one thing is you lack, come a bit closer, <laughs> might as well kiss them this way. You lack your masculine the essence to polarize a dynamic. You lack the ability to focus on yourself in your own self-development journey. What do I mean by this? You care that she hasn't messaged you back. You care that she what you want her to like, that she that she that you want her to like you basically. So essentially seeking validation. You care about these things and you care essentially about her more than your own self. And that's how it clicks. Have you noticed that the bad boys, the guys who kind of look like me, are very ruthless, are very focused on themselves, are very thinking about their future and doing something to become the man so then the women can attract and and orbit around him rather than him chasing after every single girl. This is a thing that I never understood and I can definitely help you with because it's taken me a lot of time to understand. It's very, very important to understand and to get this concept right especially at a young age because once you do you can say okay this woman chose this guy for this reason so if i want to play the game and get the results i need to still be my true authentic self and still be proud of the man i see in the mirror every day because we don't change for anyone but then i also need to maybe mark it and maybe put myself out there in this way if you've seen my instagram go on my highlights it will explain everything You'll look at that and you'll be like, hmm, kind of makes sense. Yeah, I've done it on purpose. <laughs> I've put those girls there on purpose. I look like a fuck boy. I look like a bad boy. But if you see me in any other videos, I'm the one of the most sensitive, kind-hearted, caring souls you ever meet. I've just marked myself in the correct way to make sure that the girls that do look at me know what they're getting themselves into. And no, I don't play any fucking games. I don't have time to waste. I'm 25 years of age and you shouldn't have time either. You should focus about yourself and your future and becoming the man you've always dreamed of. Because once you do, you know what happens as a byproduct? You know what sprinkles down on top of the, of the cake of the man that you become? You know what it is? Come a bit closer. It's that two word. Hot bitches. You get the girls when you become the man. It takes time, Kiri. Yeah, okay. That's what makes it worth you, right? I'm proud of you. You got this. Keep going. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below. If you also like one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions or like to learn from my Skillshare classes, all links down below.